pregnancy is the most powerful feeling. To have a life growing inside you, there can be no bigger gift than that. But it's during pregnancy women are most susceptible to a plethora of diseases, especially gastrointestinal and liver disorders. In fact, gastrointestinal and liver function disorders represent some of the most frequent complaints during pregnancy. And so I spoke to Dr. Prakash Shankar from Astor Clinic and Hospitals to understand the best possible remedy and care available. One main issue is vomiting. Yeah. How do we approach that? Yeah, vomiting is the most common GI symptom in any, in any pregnant woman. Actually, the vomiting starts at the fourth week of pregnancy and it keeps on increasing in intensity till 12th week. After that, it starts coming down. By 20th week of pregnancy, the vomiting would have been subsided to most of the patients. The other symptom is nausea, that is an urge to vomit. That is also more common and that too will subside in the same manner. And most of the time, the vomiting can be managed at home itself by simple dietary changes like taking frequent small meals, taking solid food and liquid uh, food separately and avoiding fatty food, taking more of carbohydrates and avoiding uh, odors like a strong smell, these can trigger vomiting. There is a condition called a hyperemesis gravidarum, which affects 2% of the pregnancies mm -hmm. when the mother will have severe vomiting compromising on her health. Mm -hmm. In that case, we need the patient to be under uh, medical attention. Till then, the measures that I uh, suggested can be useful. Heartburn is also one major issue during pregnancy. How do we tackle that? Heartburn is another common symptom, next only to vomiting. It actually uh, occurs in the third trimester of pregnancy, that is the seventh, eighth and ninth month of pregnancy. And heartburn occurs because the acid from the stomach enters into the esophagus, that is the uh, chest, that causes heartburns. And this can be uh, tackled with the diet control alone like avoiding oily and spicy food, coming, uh, cutting down on the coffee, tea, etc. Usually this occurs because of the hormonal changes. So naturally after delivery, heartburns will subside by itself. Okay. When it leads to severe vomiting or blood vomiters or when it compromises on the nutritional status, needs it needs attention. Uh, medical attention and we have very good medicine for that. Mm -hmm. So it can be tackled very easily. Yeah, once very it gets easily. Yes, attention. yes, yes. Doctor, what are the most common liver problems during pregnancy? There are certain liver conditions which are peculiar only to pregnancy, mm -hmm. and uh, most of them are benign. They don't uh, need any aggressive management. For example, uh, cholestasis of uh, pregnancy, patient will develop certain symptoms like itching, and usually after delivery it will come down and uh, other condition like uh, acute fatty liver of pregnancy which is a bit alarming situation where we may have to terminate the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Good thing is that these actually occur at the last trimester of pregnancy and the cure actually is the uh, delivery. After delivery automatically all these two conditions will uh, subside. In the acute fatty liver of pregnancy the uh, mother will experience severe abdominal pain, headache, nausea, vomiting and sometimes jaundice. This condition needs immediate attention, but uh, fortunately it's very, very rare. As you mentioned itching, and I yes. remember itching my stomach constantly when I was pregnant, so it is a huge issue that yes, women yes. face when they are pregnant. How do you tackle yeah. that? The itching uh, can be due to skin uh, reasons as well as due to liver causes. Mm -hmm. Skin problems are uh, manageable, quite manageable like any other condition. Sometimes the uh, stretching of the skin leads to some itching. All this will settle after delivery. There is one condition as I mentioned previously, uh, cholestasis of uh, uh, pre uh, pregnancy, mm -hmm. in which condition the bile acid will collect inside the uh, liver and blood, so leading to itching. And this condition usually manifests at the last trimester, like 7th, 8th, 9th month. The itching will be something very severe that patients even go into depression. Mm -hmm. Many a times the patients avoid getting pregnant again. Mm -hmm. That itching will be classically in the palms and soles, more at uh, night. The intensity will be, will be highest at night. And good thing is the delivery of the child will relieve the symptoms. Mm -hmm. And there are good medicines to relieve the itching symptoms also. This is a very benign condition. But uh, uh, the patient needs medical attention just to rule out any other liver disease. To tackle all four issues, what are the simple lifestyle changes pregnant women can do? Yeah, first thing is they should not compromise on the nutrition because the nutrition is going to the mother as well as the baby and they could get a dietitian advice. And frequent small meals, avoiding being in empty stomach will mm -hmm. take care of the vomiting. Spicy oily food can be reduced to avoid the heartburns. And as far as the liver discontent, there is actually uh, 
no dietary change just that uh, most of the conditions will improve after delivery the understanding of that will give them i'll be aware of it yes yes, yes. yes. thank you doctor welcome thank you